Hi there folks and welcome to the What Solutions for this week's The Daily Rigger, issue number 240. So Friday was World Sleep Day and actually it's come out in a study that dehydration could be a reason why you're not sleeping. So women typically need to drink 1.6 litres of fluid every day and men need to drink about 2 litres. So how many 250 milliliter glasses of fluid should a woman drink each day to meet their intake? Well, first things first, we need to know that 1 litre is 1,000 millilitres, so 1.6 litres would be 1,600 millilitres. And we need to know how many times 250 would go into that, which is of course 6.4. So if we're answering the question with the context here, how many full glasses should she drink? Well, it's going to be 6 in a bit, so she would need to drink 7 glasses. So how many more glasses should a man drink? Well, um, 2 litres is 2,000 millilitres. How many times does 250 go into that? It's 8 times exactly. So if we take them away from each other, the answer we were looking for there was one more glass. I think I'll maybe drink it after um, I finished recording this video. So on to our business story. Um, junior bankers um, claim to be working a 98-hour working week. So on average, how many hours is this per day? Well, of course, one week is 7 days. So if this is the weekly hours, um, we're sharing it equally amongst seven days, um, which is 14 hours per day. And that's without a day off as well. So hopefully they'll get that cap to 80 hours. So we always like to feature the arts when we can. So um, this piece of, this collection of digital art netted 50 million at a recent auction. So how many individual pieces of artwork was it? So you'll not be able to count them all individually, I wouldn't think. It's down to your estimation skills. So the correct answer was 5,000. I wonder how close you got or if you indeed actually managed to estimate the correct answer. Okay, so into our sports story. Um, so um, a man placed a bet on the Cheltenham Horse Racing Festival. And when it got to the last um, runner, he was offered a cash out amount of 250000 from his £5 stake, which he took. The horse then went on to lose, so it turns out they definitely made the right decision. So we're going to calculate how much he would have won if he hadn't cashed out and the horse had won. So basically he's putting £5 in Golden Horde at 12 to 1. So we do 5 times 12, but then we have to add on the £5 stake as well because that gets returned. So after the first leg, he won £65. This £65 then goes on Hello Yumzen at 10 to 1. So for the second bet, we do um, the £65 times 10 and then add the stake on. And the stake, remember, has now become £65. So that comes to £715. So we're now on to race three and our stake is now £715. So we do 715 times four because it's four to one, then add the 715 pounds. So already we're up to 3,575. Now the one that made the bet, Bob Ollinger. So the stake is now 3,575 or multiplying by 25 and then returning the stake of 3,575 which comes to a whopping £92,950. Now, if the last one won, we have to do the stake multiplied by the odds. Now, 9 over 2 is 9 divided by 2, which is 4.5. So we do the stake times 4.5, and then we add the stake again, and that comes to a whopping £511,225, which he would have lost if he didn't have the foresight to, catch out, to cash out. So well done to Paul there. That was our work solutions for this week, guys. Hope you enjoyed solving the problems. Stay tuned for next week's edition when there'll be more stories from the news of the week and the numbers behind them. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and bye for now.